All right. So now we are going to see a confirmed cases country and day wise. We can see these cases with temp is equal to country underscore day wise dot group by and there you have country and then you have date there. Once you have got these, then uh, we are going to get their confirmed cases. Alright, so we have got here confirmed cases. Let's go ahead and sum it and then finally reset underscore index. Alright, so first let's go ahead and see the head of country day wise. Country day wise. There, this is head and then we are going to sum it by country and date and then finally we are going to take the data for only those countries which have the confirmed cases at least 10,000. So country all right each in if you remember we had this gt underscore 10,000. Even you can also make it for 100,000 as well. Alright. And then I'm going to get the countries, list of countries for which we are going to plot it so that we can get with temp country dot unique values. So there, these are the countries which have at least 10,000 cases. Now we are going to plot these we in a, a, a 3 by and the total uh, are the 3 columns, uh, 3 columns in each row. That means I am going to put there n calls, sorry, n calls is equal to 3 and then n rows. I'm gonna put there math dot seal and then the total length of this countries and divided by n calls. All right, now I'm gonna add this figure. Uh, I'm gonna make here subplot. So figure is equal to make subplots. Then I'm gonna pass there rows is equal to n rows and then calls is equal to n calls. There we have shared x axis. So that's I'm going to make a false here. And then here we have subplot titles. Subplot titles will be displayed there country by country. So that's the country each. All right. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and uh, create here a for loop so that we can print plot for each of these countries. So for index, then we here we have country in enumerate. So we are gonna enumerate these countries. So we'll be getting here these country names in this country variable and the index location in this index data. So there I'm going to make here row is equal to integer format of this index divided by n calls. All right. Then I'm going to add here plus one. Then call is equal to we have there int int modulus operator as n calls and then plus one. So with this we will be getting here rows and the column. All right. Now let's go ahead and add these figures so fig dot 
add underscore trace and inside that I'm gonna add there go dot bar that's mean plotly graph object I'm adding there bar plot so x is equal to we have temp date and then y is equal to temp one more thing we will be taking here uh, cases uh, for all the countries so there we have temp dot lock and there we have their temp all those countries which are equal to these particular countries any of these particular countries which we are gonna set by this country and once we get this then I'm gonna take the confirmed cases there all right and after that I'm going to plot here name is equal to country and then here we have row is equal to row and call is equal to call so that's going to be uh, uh, taken from this for loop and once it is done then we are going to update the layout with the height and with the, the with the its legend out of this for loop then here we have a pig dot update all right so pig dot update underscore layout and in this i'm going to put the height is equal to 4000 and then we have here title underscore text this is going to be a confirmed cases in each country okay perfect and then finally we have here a figure dot update underscore layout so there we have so legend is equal to false and then finally we have here figure dot so uh, there is error let me see it says that uh, key error there is countries is key error let me see there I think here that should not be the countries but in fact this should be country all right so it might take a little time to process all these graphs because the total number of countries which has passed 10,000 cases are huge and those will be plotted here just a second now it has came here we see there we have Austria Bangladesh Belarus Belgium Brazil Canada Chile China Colombia and with these now you see the confirmed cases has been flattened out in the China and apart from the China in all other countries it is still increasing and in the Belgium it also seems that they have flattened the curve and uh, there now you see in the France and other countries there is a still it is increasing in india now you can see it is increasing there exponentially in indonesia you have there in iran ireland israel and italy japan has been also flatted out south korea has also flatted their curve as well and in and in other countries this coronavirus is still increasing with the exponential rate as you <coughs> As you see here in the Pakistan, it is also increasing. All right, so these are the cases where it is still increasing. We have here US as well, Turkey and Switzerland. All right, so this is all about in this lesson. Thanks for watching. In the next lesson, I'll compare this COVID-19 cases with other similar epidemics. Bye-bye. Take care. I'll see you in next lesson.